So I opened these dolls before I started this one sixth channel and you can Google it. You look up Too Hunky Germany and if you want to see the full review of these dolls. But today I want to focus on the clothes. I can't keep all of the toys, dolls, action figures that I have. I really have to minimize the clothes of these are kind of nice. So what I want to do is I want to try them on um, the action dolls that I like the most and that would be uh, these are two good examples of very obscure uh, dolls that I have put together but we've got a this was a, a 70, 1979 Sean from the Star series made by Mattel still I guess Star is still a Barbie I I'm not sure if she falls under Barbie or not. Anyway, she's Star, and this is her boyfriend, Sean. And I put him on a Max Steel body. This is the body that I like the most. This is my WWE body, which is a little more muscular than the regular Barbie. And I put a Barbie color reveal head on that. And uh, this is these are two of the Coughland, I believe is the name of the store, but also... Um, Brian and Veronica sent me this one which is Brazilian so all of this stuff does come from China so I, I guess they market them differently put on different clothes uh, but they seem to be made by the same manufacturer the standard of uh, clothing production is kind of good but it's I don't know I am such a Mattel stan I if it if it's not official I some I, I, I don't know I have this thing in me and I, I can't uh, keep it now if I was you know had all kinds of money all the money in the world I might turn to uh, Etsy and buy all those handcrafted pieces because I am on Instagram and I do see what people make and uh, the, the when you make it when somebody makes something personally by hand I mean it also depends on the person but there is some amazing craftsmanship that is out there and stuff that's available so uh, that probably would be an option but I really I do struggle it's this kind of this OCD thing that I have where I have to only put the same company together so it has to be if I'm mixing and matching and doing a Mattel mashup it has to be Mattel so Max Steel body Ken head uh, but these clothes these clothes are all from the Coughland store um, and also I don't remember what this guy's name is but uh, also available in other countries distributed with different names and stuff but uh, if this is going to if these clothes are going to fit on uh, this Max Steel body then you are also going to get them on the buff Ken and you're going to get them on your standard made to move Ken. So this video is for you if you want to see, if you want to buy these uh, Chinese import um, pseudo dolls. Now these pants, these are like, I mean, I don't own any linen pants, but in, in a perfect world, uh, the, the, these are pants that I would want to wear. They look really, really nice. I like the material that they're made of. They're a little short, but that's okay, actually, because they are summer pants, and you would do that. You would roll them up. They are rolled up. And then we have this classic nautical shirt. Now, I'm not totally sure about the construction. See how it's got this lump here and how they only sewed up... Oh, well, they sewed up one shoulder different than the other shoulder. I guess that is where they did, yeah, that is where they did the closure of the neck. So you can see that's how it's a little bulky. Maybe I want to do some alterations to this. Maybe I don't want to. There's no Velcro closure on this or anything, so it does make it harder to put on, but also that makes it look like a better quality shirt. So I'm struggling here because the pants are nice, not official Barbie. Look, you can see um, that the Velcro is sewn in. I don't, well, you know, the machine has made some skip stitches kind of thing. There's some loose threads and stuff, but I could, um, you know, see if that stuff that I can pull out, is that just a loose thread? Is it a mist? Yeah, kind of. I think it is just a loose thread. Anyway, I could clean it up. Do I have my scissors? I have my scissors standing by here. Uh, 
yeah, it's it, it's hit, hit or miss. As much as people say that Mattel is such poor quality, oh, this has such a nice stretch to it too. Like it comes off without having to. I mean, his head might come off. I don't have this head on that tightly. Yeah, yeah. I I I, I don't know. I am I am um, I'm struggling with. Do I keep it? Do I have better striped shirts? Do I just trim this off a little bit so there's less neck poking up there? I mean, that is an option. I should probably get better scissors than these ones. I have these ones standing by just to cut a thread. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. So, yeah, I mean, you could, I could cut off some of the bulk, a little more of the bulk. You can see where it's glued, um, where they sewed the thing down not flat like you're supposed to spread these open and then sew them down but there's a little bit of a kink going on there so I mean and then this is what the tag looks like so we do recognize seeing tags like this from the different things that we buy from Amazon 50% um, polyester 50% uh, I, I don't know I don't know what that other I don't know what that other ingredient is Maybe it's bamboo. I guess it's in uh, bum. I don't know. It feels like cotton though, and it's stretchy, and the shirt's kind of nice. I guess maybe we have to try it again I'm late now that I cut this thing off. But you see how that's not perfect, and it's kind of short too. It's cropped, even though cropped's in. All of this stuff is a little short. Max Max Steel. The Max Steel body is a bit shorter than your standard can too so uh these things would be much much shorter on a regular ken doll but those are nice pants and you can see how they're so just nice something that i do notice about also mattel clothes is that the stitches are much smaller and much closer together so that also uh, improves on the quality of the garment but this is some good fabrications I have to say but he, let me take uh, this stuff off and then these sneakers the sneakers aren't so bad they're a nice classic like kind of Adidas sneaker a 70s they do look very much like the sneakers that uh, he came with because he's a 70s doll his head is at least which I uh, I had to, uh, oh no, I didn't alter this one. It is as is, putting on the peg. That's good, I didn't have to shave him down. I, m maybe I am tempted to, uh, to decrease his neck just a little bit so that his head goes further on the body. This body is actually not a Max Steel body. It is a Blanche Devereaux romance novel. It is the one where they made Ken on um, this Max Steel body and they took away his robot arm by using the same, I don't know which one is normally his robot arm, I guess this one is normally his robot arm so they used his right arm and put it on his left arm so you can kind of notice that if you look carefully but it isn't it isn't that noticeable but that is kind of cool that I have the, and it's not the made to move I do prefer the made to move uh, max steel body but this one is my second favorite because it's got no robot interruptions no tattoos on it so it's a pretty sweet body the skin tone is slightly different and probably slightly closer to uh, this uh, Sean doll so that is why I do like to use this head with this body and this is enough articulation for me as you can see um, that I, it's the same as with the WWE bodies so this was a little sleep set again you can check out the video just look up German too hunky on Google or you can look up Coughlin I think I used their name in there but it's a pretty it's a pretty nice set now I do notice like just before I started this video there were a lot of uh, threads coming out this uh, this material seems to fray so at the bottom and stuff but it is sewn together quite well 
and then even the ribbon you notice you know even with Mattel that when they put the ribbons on they do seem to not put them on very well and they buckle but this one is actually sewn in very well where we have the ruffle and I normally don't like a ruffle but there is something about the way this is done the matching straps to the and the ruffle go, and the ruffle and the ribbon goes all the way around and I mentioned what I mentioned about the velcro in I don't know what video that was it was uh, it was not too long ago but I was talking about the quality of clothes and how you can tell by or maybe I was talking I don't know if it was in a video or not but when you have the um, velcro sewn down on two sides even though this one is uh, only sewn down on one but it goes outward so it's actually good because it puts less material uh, under the velcro so less big um, pile of clothing and velcro and stuff so it does close very well and we've got the little gather there for the chest area it's a little loose and flowy it's nice i mean it it, it, it looks pretty good and the, it's not perfectly sewn and it's not i guess i guess the the best thing about this is the materials that they're using the fabrication so, yeah i mean it is the house coat the house coat is um it's, it's sewn quite well like you can see the stitches the seams it's again it's not perfect i don't like how they put the strap over to one side i mean you don't lose it that way but i would have rather they just not attached it at all so now we have it attached funny to the side but i mean you don't lose it that's the best part every edge is hemmed they have the matching ribbon on the bottom seam so i don't know i don't know she look she looks pretty good in this it's a nice negligee very uncommon for barbie to have uh, a nice negligee and house coat like this so i don't i don't i don't know what to tell you but uh, let's move on to the dress here are the kids by the way i'll give you if you want again if you want to see them you can look at the other video but the kids are pretty cute they look european also i have this tie in here i think this is a mistake i think i opened up a world peacekeepers set and i think this tie goes in with it oh yeah there'll be more on that i'll be talking about more of that in a second but i maneuvered the elastic so they had the part where the elastic was sewed together i stuck it under the tie and i remember this part wasn't put together very well but i just maneuvered it and stretched out of the and you know just how you have to fix a tie in normal life yeah, I guess this goes to the World Peacekeeper set, which, okay, maybe we'll take a we'll take a little segue over to that. Because I have separated the accessories that I decided I'm not gonna keep. I um I I don't. I don't want. And then I chose the ones from all of the sets that were really nice and that I would actually like to keep so we will go through that i'll probably show you the ones that i'm keeping again you can check out the video if you want to see all of the other things but yeah some of the stuff is just silly and not stuff that i'm going to use as much as it's cool you know what maybe i will go through it who knows how long this video is but i do remember this was a long time ago I'm, i've been meaning to make this video for a long time and i found this bin with these dolls and i was wondering where this guy went and he was in this bin ready for me to do this review I had it put aside but this watch from the world peacekeepers collection so that's um a series that you can you can order them from china i have again you can google world peacekeepers and too hunky and find lots of videos i think i actually did one on this channel too but you can see that they sculpted this same watch in a different and i love i love the translucent blue one it's so cool and then i also love the black one with the green display that is so like classic army amazing you know it looks like a i don't know I don't know i don't know my watches does it look like a rolex no it probably looks like a timex nonetheless it's really really cool okay next we will try this dress on her now 
it's a really again the fabrication the material it's it's like a cotton material and it's a flower dress and the print on it is really small these are all things that are like it's so it's gathered and sewed really nicely however the neck is not perfect does she have an elastic band did i see that's her hair faces they're very uh, faces are very important to me you wouldn't you wouldn't think that by the doll i've chosen here with her glitter eyes i don't know it's there's there's something mattel knows how to do a head sculpt mattel knows how to do face paint i will take the pixelation and the shininess over there's something missing there's something wrong with the faces there's something wrong with the head sculpts they're I mean, I'll, I'll even take some wonk over this. She she does have some wonky. It looks. It's not. I don't know. I can't. It's just a preference. Um, and uh, it's the, the Defa Lucy ones for me. One I could understand getting. Um, the it has this deco feel. This '90s deco, like this deco uh, phenomena. I remember it being very common because more was more in the. I don't want to say '90s. It's more the early 2000s. The early 2000s. This uh, you could see the deco inspiration come back again, and I don't. I don't. It's too detailed. It's too there's too much but i do her face is cute and it does look very uh stylistic and they're all they all they're all the same most of them are the same i think there's three different head sculpts but they're the eyes and the paint is all the same this is the same for me it just there's just something missing there's the personality is gone personal preference you, maybe you like it also her neck looks she looks really like this. Her neck is down really far. It looks like um, an original body. It looks like one of the twist bodies, but also uh, the proportions are not uh, great. And back to the deco thing, um, the original Barbie kind of had a kind of deco-y style to her body too. And I really do like the original Barbie's body, but something and it is very similar to this, but something is very off here with the proportions. Her feet it's going really small there's just there's uh, the uh there, there's there's something missing here there's something missing with her face the hair is not the quality that everyone wants and loves uh we, we like a bent arm though we like a that's that's funny that's campy that's classic barbie with her arms like that so i can't complain about that if she's going to have five points of articulation we want our arms to be like that because then it makes it kind of toy silly and uh, we also like the twist waist that was i think introduced in the 70s when she was disco dancing barbie anyway but they they did it with this one anyway um i don't want this doll so that i know for sure the dress there's 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 buckling so i mean this nightgown is nice the more i look at it but the fact that it's not official mattel and i'm using it I don't know and it's not perfectly made that's the problem all right so i'll show you the construction of this dress lots of loose fraying and loose threads but i mean every single toy will have that it's good to get in there with your scissors and cut off those extra things but be careful because you can because of the way that they're constructed and the way they're not safety backstitched uh that stuff will come unraveled and i do have a collection of really um pieces that i really like clothing pieces that have that are falling apart and i do think i'm going to sit down with a needle and thread one day and just hand stitch very very carefully or maybe take a machine to them even though i don't know if i can work th that scale if i did use a sewing machine so I am really struggling with liking this dress. I probably have, I do have to go through the existing Barbie stuff that I have. I like that it's a little loose. It's not totally tight, which you get a lot, but the unfinished, the, the neck is finished, but the way that it's finished and it's buckling and that it's not the worst part about 
you know, if you've ever made clothes or worked with clothes, the worst part is sewing the stuff in between the construction. You gotta like make sure that you hem things and you can't just hem it, you have to iron it and make it all. That's that's what's going on here. It's it's buckling at the hemmed neck because you know they didn't cut all the way around to give that curve so the dress is unacceptable um i'm not yeah i probably have some barbie floral country dresses that are nicer than this so i'm deciding right now as nice as this looks and it's a great dress great pattern great material that it's made out of not good enough what do you think you leave your comments down below did you like the blue dress did you like this? Which ones would you keep? Which ones would you not keep? Now let's uh, let's take a look at these pants and we'll take a look at this, this Ken body. So these guys have the same body. These glasses, again, super in fashion right now because the 2000s are back. But this is, the 2000s are my least favorite fashion genre of all time. And then I would say the 20s, is the next one and it's because of um, the correlations I think this modern I don't know, more is more kind of thing lots of details and not lots of details in the right way not like lots of details in the turn of the century not the details that they had in Baroque and stuff like that, that those are the good details but tacky western meets modern meets i don't know i do not i am not a fan of the 2000s but i kind of should stop and embrace it because that is what's in style right now those glasses i think are hideous um the shirt is nice it's a classic you know plaid i put his phone so i kept it separate he did come with a cool phone he's really cool um i like this head sculpt actually he is a very cool looking ken you can see the german one they painted a little differently than they painted this brazilian one he's got more sun bleached hair he's got the he's in the sun more than the german guy i guess that's why but yeah it is the same the body is really strange she's got this big um oompa whatever you call that thing oh and the legs are weird the fact that the legs go out they split this way that's that's a good thing this waist having a waist that turns that doesn't match up is never a good thing the um body doesn't look realistic it's not and uh the way that the abs are those two abs should be there kind of thing not uh when i look at this guy i get jealous when i look at this guy i I don't want to have that body so yeah this is it's it's good that this is such a um, broad can so you know that his clothes are gonna fit your classic cans and they're gonna fit this guy and they're gonna fit the new buff cans that are so cool but let's try on the clothes this guy again has the same body And I won't talk anymore about the same shoes they gave him, which I kind of like. They're kind of big, too, so you know that they're going to fit on any Ken you have's feet. They might even fit on slate. Do I have slate around here? Let me grab slate. Slate has on his, uh, he wanted to dress like a mermaid and a, a fairy mermaid warrior. So that's what that outfit is. Yeah, these actually fit on slate I, so um, as much as i do have some world keepers world peacekeepers flip-flops that i have put aside for him so he might have to steal these shoes they're not stretching i thought that these were too narrow and his feet are usually too wide and they do stretch out the ken feet oh what's happening on this one more maybe there's a left and a right i don't think there is the shoes are designed to oh no there is a left some reason that shoe is going on that foot one of these is more narrow than the other one i guess is what's happening here they do look a little big on his feet but at least they fit on a bit better i like his outfit 
Thanks, Evelyn, for these wings, by the way. Those are so cool. Those are on some, some Barbie set. Those are awesome. Okay, so this guy has uh, plastic underwear leg protections on, and he's got these Velcro pants on. Again, this one is from Brazil, from Veronica. Thank you so much. And stretchy denim again. I don't know what's going on with this company, but great fabrication. Unlike with that World Peacekeepers suit that I opened up around the same time with uh, the last World Peacekeeper. I don't know if it was the last one. Anyway, it was. I think it was the last one on the Too Hunky channel, for sure. Uh, the material on the suit was not good. It makes me, I can't keep it. That's, that'll be coming up in another video where I'll be, because a lot of the World Peacekeeper stuff, army influenced, and I like it, and I can use the pants, and the pants are made really well, and they're kind of like that stuff that you would find on Timu, which is very action figure oriented, but my style, the stuff that I like, I do like to incorporate uh, army clothes in my clothing, so... Let's see how these pants fit. Now, the elastic waist isn't, it's done kind of funny. It's done very crafty. So if your grandmother was making you clothes and making you look like Holly Hobby, that's kind of how these pants are sewn together. But they do fit on. So they fit on and, you know, an old fashioned 90s um, Ken doll, they would fit. So a thicker buffer Ken and buff Ken. They're a little long, the shorts are, but in doll, in doll land, I've noticed that long shorts actually, longer shorts look better. And then we have this plaid shirt. Again, there's a tag in it. And this is made in China, because that's where it's made. And they put this tiny little piece of Velcro, which I kind of like because when I do up, when I wear a shirt like this, which is not very often, I will just do up just uh, one or two buttons in the middle of it and let everything go free-flowing in the summertime. Because, well, I mean, either that or I'm going to do up all the buttons and put on a tie. But we will see that these clothes are made quite well. Like, that is a nice collar. Something that is happening with Mattel today um, in recent years is that they aren't putting a double layer under the collar and they will hem it sometimes if they don't leave it raw but they'll hem it without putting the double layer underneath however sometimes that's a blessing as well because a double layer just makes it too thick uh, but in this case this might be one of the best collars I've ever seen on a shirt so how can I how can, how can I get rid of it? I mean, this is this is not fitting over his bicep, and uh, the, oh yeah, this one it is stopping, but um, the sleeves are long enough that they're it's not interrupting. But it is it's so funny because it's pulling exactly tight. Um, it can't go up any further, and uh, but it's not so tight that it's like gaping the neck or gaping. It's like it fits perfectly like it was made for him. So I think that's, this is a really nice outfit. These are cool. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Look, you can see on the back that they even have the same little, oh, look, this guy has no writing in his stamp place. This guy has all kinds of writing in the Brazilian one really long feet too so we gotta i gotta compare that i probably did that. i don't know if i did that in the other video but you can see that his foot is much much longer which is not a good thing that means he can't wear hot wheels skate shoes if you haven't seen the last video i made i, can't believe I kept these doll stands in here i made these doll stands out of paper towel holders and pant hanger clips and some extra felt on the clips to protect the ball. Well, apparently this one apparently this one is not on properly. Anyway, 
they work out well for me. People ask, so that's why I'm telling you. Okay, and uh, yeah, um, uh, I'm I'm not gonna I can't I'm never gonna play with those. That's the problem. This guy, I'm gonna play with all the time. So yeah, if I had to keep one doll, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to keep more than one. But he would be, he he's one that I'm keeping in this in this form. So good. Yeah, he, look how good he looks. I mean, even the shorts look good, despite their crafty elastic waist. This is a nice outfit. All right, again, vote below. We got these pants, we got this. Would you keep the striped t-shirt? Still not sure about that. We might have to try it on again. Let's just quickly go over the accessories. So the fel cell phone is used um, quite often. Let's see if they use the same screen. I think that's why I kept them separately. It's a good looking cell phone, but I want to see how different the Brazilian one is from the, oh, they're exactly the same. The Brazilian one from the German one, and they even have the same print on the sticker. So there you go, is the, I think, I think the camera is the same there too. So there we go. Okay, these watches, those are pretty amazing. I think I'm gonna add this stuff to my World Peacekeepers box, that, that would make sense. So we have this little bag, which has a silly little print on it, but uh, that does, it's cute and it looks like something Slate would wear or use. These boots are so nice. Like, I can't. They they look so, so nice. Now, they would fit on a standard Barbie feet, but do I have a standard Barbie? Oh, no. Do, hold on. You stay right there. I can't. I can't make another video. Did you go away? Are you still here? All right. So I have a, bo a box of made to moves. Let's use, let's use one of the bald ones that I like to use the most. And we'll see if I can put her, I am, it does fit. Maybe I did this in the other video, who knows? It actually fits very very well and they make her feet look bigger so you know these boots are really really nice i've never seen anything like that in barbie land these are the most stylish stylish doll boots that i've ever seen so i don't i don't know i don't know what to tell you those how often how often do I use these? I guess maybe I should try it on a curvy. Are her feet gonna fall off? I know that that happens sometimes. Am I gonna jam them? No, yeah. I can squeeze it into a curvy. However, her legs are a bit wider, so. And is her foot gonna come off? I hope not. Oh no. Oh no, I did some, I see stress. Oh, that's not good. I made a little bit see I made a little bit of white stressing there. So not good for curvy. Don't do that. Actually I think it went away. That was interesting. It stretched and made a little white plastic stretching. Alright, I also have this this case, which is kind of cool. I kinda like that. It's a cool toolbox. Doesn't have a mechanical hinge, which is something that I'm not a fan of. I need mechanical hinges. But let's see what else I kept in here. I kept a, oh, it's a nice texture to it. It doesn't have a thumb print on it, and it doesn't say Barbie on it anywhere. So to have a volleyball that is less branded, come on. And this see, and this bag is really unique. And the strap is different. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. It's a little cutesy, but kind of cool. And speaking of cutesy, we have all of these accessories, and I think I took off the stickers because I didn't like 
I don't mind how the paint is put on these things, which is it's done very, very strangely, almost like 80s, um, kind of 70s, 80s. I'm not a big fan of hearts. Oh, look what they did here. They put a Barbie logo on there, though. That is that is total. That is a total ripoff. They can't do that. The clipboard's kind of cute. However, it's in pink, and that doesn't make sense. These bracelets are so strange, and uh, not a mechanical hinge again. So the more you do it, the more they're gonna break down. But they're just so big. I don't think I like the pictures that are on them. Like I think that's grapes. I think they're all different too, if I remember correctly. And then we have a yellow strawberry, which is just bizarre. The fact that these great big superhero cuffs, oh, and they look kind of like big. 60s mod so and then the the designs on them aren't that noticeable and it is really strange that they didn't match the colors with the fruits that they put them on because they made the apple blue and they made the grapes pink and they made which is kind of actually funny and they made the strawberry yellow um this little green water bottle it's, it's too nice not to get rid of it. I think this is one of the things that had a sticker on it and I removed it and then I like it even more because the sticker was kind of silly. And then this was also another package thing which probably came in a doctor set and it probably had some, a sticker on it too that I took off. And now it just looks like a generic box. The needle is good in a horrible color. That doesn't make any sense. The glasses. Oh these glasses okay these are super retro -y glasses instead of being oh they're not they're not fitting on my doll but they look like 1950s glasses they probably fit on different heads but I, I do like those so it makes sense that I kept them oh and then they have uh, Harry Potter nerdy glasses so it makes sense that I kept those. I'm assuming they'll fit on different heads differently. Let me take it. Oh, I can't take it over to him. Is there anybody here? Oh, wait. Did I put away? Did they put away this girl? Can she try these on? Okay, there you go. Nerdy black glasses. Those are those are acceptable. Let me try on these blue ones on her too. See if she can wear them. Yeah, depending on the head. No, those look like goggles. They don't look so good, but they're translucent. They're cool. Little pink scissors, and uh, this perfume bottle that came with one of the sets was great. Again, to see the whole set, definitely check out the other video. Too hunky, Germany. You will find it. Um, nail polish and some kind of um, it's probably some kind of antiseptic that's what it's supposed to be but you can mix and match it with the beauty they did really well with the painted on stuff I didn't like the sticker so much but this uh, well you know what it's probably supposed to be powder but they put lips on it anyway it's super 80s coolness and uh, there's another cell phone in here and then there is a lipstick, which probably is out of scale. Maybe not. It's, it, it's, it's kind of big. It could also be a perfume in your hand. But yeah, and also she has big hands. You can see scale size. And then there were these four necklaces, which I actually liked putting on Slate. Those are really cool, and the fact that they were, um, they are all gray, and they all match. Oh, this is probably the best one, and they're kind of tribal. That's why I did, I did make a, a few little custom warrior, little god warriors, and I did put those on him for a while. But again, they're not Mattel, and he only he strictly wears Mattel stuff. This is all, this is all Mattel, Creatable World, Color Reveal, Stacy, Barbie, whatever, they're not, Dreamtopia is over, did you notice that? Um, yeah, I don't know, Ken, 
Ken flip flops. He looks good in those. So I don't know about. And then this Barbie necklace goes with his outfit right now. That's what he's wearing. All right. So we did look a lot at all of this stuff. If you want to see more of this crazy stuff, definitely check out the other video and uh, the World Peacekeeper stuff. If you want to see other alternatives to things that you can mix and match, which will have to be a video that I do in the future where I do mix some army surplus with real fashions and we put together some outfits that way. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, we'll see you next time.